François Louis Michel Kemin de Forgues, born the 29th of September 1759, Vera the 10th of September 1840, Mancy saint was a French politician and foreign minister. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. Son of Jean Forgues Path and Anne Bertrand Thomas de la Marque, he came to Paris, at 12 years old, studying at the College Louis Le Grand and then to law school. According to Madame Roland, he was clerk to Danton. When he was attorney for the Parliament of Paris, he was also committed to the authority of the Octroi of Paris, member of the Commune of Paris, created 10 August 1792 and protected by Danton. He was appointed bureau chief of illumination, on 24 August and was deputy, from 2 September, with merit, of the supervisory committee the town. On 3 September, he co-signed a committee circular to justify the September massacres and considered a call to imitate the example of the «common good of Paris». Later, he protested his innocence, saying that his name had replaced another. On 30 Thermidor Year 3 the 17th of August 1795, he published a pamphlet entitled De Forges to Citizens to defend themselves for having participated in massacres of September in which he claimed to have been attached to the administration of police on 14 September. However, according to Maurice Barthélemy, it was reported that at the worst moment, he imprisoned in the Abbey citizen Claude Suget who perished on the spot. He was the first secretary-general of the Committee of Public Safety of the Mountain, dominated by Danton and Barrieri then, at the request of Jean-Nicolas Patch, was appointed Deputy Minister of War Bouchot, 5th Division, on 9 May 1793. Mayat de Melito, who knew him, said he was a firm and decided, with the spirit of the Enlightenment. His aristocratic origin had approached Barrieri. After 2 June he was appointed by the Convention at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the Executive Council, replacing Le Brun Tondu on 21 June 1793, on motion of Marie-Jean Aero de Seychelles who introduced him as a true Republican, a well-spoken sans-culotte and explained, De Forges has a well-organized mind, he loves the book and has done a lot." In fact, he thought only a little about the conduct of diplomatic business. In fact Barrieri, who had the upper hand on the diplomacy of the year two, tightly controlled the machinery. Thus, at the request of Barrieri, he recruited agents of British counterintelligence, such as Richard Ferris, with missions to England and Ireland. His name appears not only in the English ministerial papers, particularly those of Lord Grenville, but also in the letter from the Foreign Office to Perego asking Kemen de Forges spelling adopted during the Revolution to promote disorder and «push the Jacobins in paroxysms of fury». With the endorsement of Barrieri, he was paid by the British government, among others, to counter the business of United Irishmen and disrupted services by untimely hiring, as he employed Jean-Baptiste Noël Bouchot at the Department of War. On 4 March 1794 Jacques Ebert denounced him to the Cordeliers as follows, "...a de Forges who takes the place of foreign minister and well known that I call the minister for foreign affairs." On 13 Germinal Year II April 1794, he was deposed and replaced by Marshal Joseph Armand Hermann, arrested, he was imprisoned in Luxembourg for four months. On 14 Germinal, the warrant for his arrest was signed by Du Baron, Elie Lacoste, Vadir, Moïse Bale, Robespierre, Prieur de la Côte d'Or, Barrieri, his friend Saint Just, Amar, Carnot, and Collet d'Herbois. He wrote to the incorruptible, attributing his imprisonment as a result of his intimacy with Danton. In this letter, he took advantage of the protection of Barrieri. He was released after the Ninth Thermidor. His detention attributed to Robespierre exempted him from accounting for his deplorable administration. He «matures» somehow, and having to be diplomatic for his own interests, he was appointed in October 1799, at the Anglo-Russian invasion, minister plenipotentiary to the Batavian Republic, where he attended and succeeded Florent Guillaume. He was recalled after 18 Brumaire, and replaced by Seminville. He lived in retirement when, in 1804, after the Louisiana Purchase in the United States, he was sent to New Orleans as trade commissioner. He spent five years in the country, where he married. On his return journey he was captured at sea by the English, but almost immediately released. 
Exiled to 20 leagues from Paris by Napoleon, he retired in August 1815 to Mancy, where he died.